Good morning, everybody. Happy, happy new year. We're on our second or third day of the new year, depending on when I posted this video. And uh, I pray that it started out well. I mean, more than that, I pray that it ends well. Because sometimes we start, like my nephew was telling me, uh, the first, the first through the 30th of January, boy, those gyms are packed, honey. People with the New Year resolution uh, on the treadmill doing everything. And then towards February, there ain't nobody at the gym, you know. Consistency is key, y'all. Uh, I'm actually go, starting a journey myself that I'd like to share with y'all. Uh, very soon you'll start to see results. It's about being healthy. You know, diets and fats. Uh, if you know me, people know that I'm very consistent about uh, the way I live my life. I think on purpose. And this is the last hurdle. I'm not saying I'm nowhere near perfect, people. I'm just saying that this is the last hurdle that I personally struggle with, you know, fluctuating in my weight and eating the wrong things. I'm getting to a certain age. I'm going to be 60 in July, and I'm proud of it. But I want to be the healthiest 60-year-old uh, on the planet of this earth. So I know that there are things that I can control. I control what I eat. I control if I go to the gym. Those are things that I control, right? Nothing and no one can stop me. I've, I'm done making excuses. That like if you heard my message for the New Year's, I'm just done. I want a better life. As long as I'm this earth, I want to be able to be the best that I can possibly be. Anything within my control that I can choose to do to better my life, to better my health, then I'm going to do. So I will uh, keep you up to date with that. But today's uh, message is simple. Uh, it's what do you expect from God? You get what you expect. You have to. I had a teacher that told me, uh, oh, I miss him, Reggie. I miss you, Reggie. Uh, that he says, are your expectors on? Are you expecting God to do what he says he's going to do? Because if you're not, he, I just, it's like you, you have to be hopeful. When you got that check in the mail, you're waiting for that check. You're, you're expecting that check. So you're anticipating and your attitude reflects what you're waiting for. Well, that's what we're talking about with God. So you see, you attract what you expect. Let's just be real. I'm sorry. And you reflect what you desire. Oh, are you, did you hear what I said? Okay, mirror what you admire, okay? And speak how you would like to be spoken to. Treat others how you want to be treated. I know we've heard these things before, but how true is it? We expect things from other people, but yet we fail to do it. So I will treat everyone the way I expect to be treated, but even though they don't treat me that way, it will not stop me from treating people the way God expects me to treat them. Do you see what I'm saying? How many of us will always say, well, you don't know what they did to me. You know, baby, it don't matter what they do to you. It doesn't matter what the world does or doesn't do. God expects you to act a certain way because he's greater. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. The thing is that we're always moved by our circumstances and our feelings. You need to learn. The word of God will teach you not to be moved, to stand anchored in the word of God. And then your feelings, I'm not saying you ain't God, boo-boo. I'm just saying that you won't allow your feelings to, 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 to drive your life, to run your life. And that's the problem that most of us have. So I pray that this year, today, you choose not to let your feelings tell you what to do. In other words, tell your flesh what to do. Your spirit man tells your flesh what to do. But you can only do that if you practice the word of God. If you know who you are in Christ and you know the word of God. It ain't going to happen otherwise. So if you want victory in your life, start doing what the Bible says. First of all, just find out what the Bible says. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, uh, this is going to be an amazing year. I hope that you're excited about this year. I hope you're excited that you're alive. I love you guys. I am on Expectant Avenue. And, oh, Victory Boulevard, where you at? Holla.